Hey. Oz. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get a new ringer. Oh, no way. This way I always know it's for me. It's ridiculous. Hey, we gotta roll. You know, Sandy's a vegetarian. What? I don't even have to look at it to know it's a meat lover's. How do you know it's for Sandy? I mean, she's, she's all you've been thinking about. Hey, not cool, man. You can't do that. I'm not reading you. I mean, you're walking around like a comic book character with a bubble above your head, and there's Sandy and puppies. Okay, and... all right. Now, without reading my mind, what am I thinking about right now? Uh, you got a poker face on, I imagine, and you're trying to make me think that you're not thinking about Sandy when you are. Am I right? Well, you're wrong about the pizza. It's for right, huh? Yeah, he calls. What's for Ryder? Yeah, let's get going. Ah. Uh, no, look, if I do Ryder a favor or two, he could help me switch some shifts, and I could sync up with Sandy's schedule. All right. Is that what it's called nowadays? Uber CT1, respond. Uni T1, go ahead. A code 4 CPAS, 3 level 5, corner of Richmond, New York, 12th floor, broken uh, ankle. OK, we're on that. Well, I hope you didn't guarantee 30 minutes. <laughs> Some banker hurt his ankle chasing his secretary around the desk. Wait a minute. Look, we jinxed it. Jinx leader. It. What happened here? He shot him, so. Yeah. I thought you guys called him a broken ankle. Yeah, he doesn't have a gun permit. Look, he's a really good guy. I thought maybe we'd avoid the police. You nah, know? this looks serious. Well, it's not through and through. It's still in there. Pulse is not good. Is he going to be okay? All right, we're going to have to call this in. Sir, can you hear me? Sir, can you hear me? Let's get him out of here. going to shock. It's going to be ambulance. I feel like I recognize this guy from somewhere. familiar. Let me get the door here. Hey, I'll show you in. I'll get them secure. Guys, you'll have to talk to the police. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, you can't? Put the radio down. Drive. Drive. Drive! Actually, pretty serious. You know, you should get to the hospital. Just keep driving. Where do you want me to go? Just shut up and drive. No lights, no sirens, no hospital. Okay. Just do your job. Okay. You shot me. Shut up. I get it. You called in the ankle thing because you didn't want the cops. That's cool with us. We can let you out and we'll take them to the hospital. Will you just fix him, please? Fix him. All right. He's not going to die, right? Please tell me that he's going to be okay. How's your pain out of ten? Get a lot better after this. There you go. University 2 1, 1070, respond. It's fine. It's nothing. It's just sleep. University 2 1, 1070, respond. They'll stop. Don't worry about it. University 2 1. Did you answer it? University answer it. Okay. Uh, please respond. What do you want me to say? I want you to say the right thing. Yeah, this is Uni 2 1. Uh, sorry, I just I dropped the radio there. Uh, it was a sprained ankle. Also alarm, so we're just we're just headed back. Somebody all clear. Have a great day. Okay, you too. What the hell was that? Why didn't you answer? Hey, I'm the one with the gun here. Look, okay, he hesitated, but he answered. Okay, the police are not coming. We're with you. We're gonna help you. Can you get this gun out of my face, please? Fine. No more messing around. Neither of you. Those guys, I'm starving. What's the 1020 on University 2-1? They're supposed to be back half hour ago. Oh, I sent them on a broken ankle that turned out to be nothing. So they're on their way home. Okay, let's see. University 2-1 is here. What the hell are they doing down at the lakeshore? All right, GPS isn't going to be a problem anymore. It stays here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 what the hell is that? It's just my phone. Get out. It's just my phone. Now, get out. Okay. All right, get in the driver's seat. Dave, you go up there. Keep an eye on him. Come on. Answer the phone. 
Whatever you want, man, I don't care, all right? I just want to make sure this guy's okay. Listen, cool guy, I will shoot you in the face, all right? You listening to me? Maybe we should just forget it. We can't do that, man. It's your panic button. Panic button. I'm done with this gunshot wound. You two are gonna let us go, right? Turn it up. Sir, slogan. When he's in the clear, we'll see. You know what'll help me get him fixed? What? Putting that gun away. That's not gonna happen. Go and get Metro on this right away. He's right, James. Sorry. No names. Hey, we got two suspects. One male, James. One female. Vic's being shot. I need this guy fixed. Now. All right, okay, okay. Do you know anything about him? His medical history? Anything about this guy? You wanna know what I know about this guy? His name is Ted Winters and he ruined us. That's what I know. How's that, huh? Ambulance University 2-1. Last known location, Cherry Road near the drive-in. They're on their way. Okay, come on, guys, come on. What the hell is that light? What light? The red light on your radio. What is that? What happened? Ah. Oh. The radio's on. Maybe they just got the radio, boss. Who heard us? Who heard us? Dispatch. Oh, that's it. That's great. Oh, that's great. Does thing have a GPS? No, just the ambulance. I'm supposed to trust you? Casey, we don't know what we're doing. It's a bad idea. Hey, we're in it now, okay? There's no turning back. Come on. Here's what we're gonna do. Radios, cell phones, everything, all right? You get his, okay? That's all I got. Hey, hey. Hustle's outside. You, drive. Sergeant McCluskey, please. Yeah, tell it's Toby Logan's supervisor. It's an emergency. How long ago did the ambulance go off the GPS grid? Seven, eight minutes ago. Metro's been informed? Yeah, now I'm informing you. I understand, Mr. Ryder. You're on this, right? I'll do everything I can. Look, I don't know what Toby does for you, but every time you call, he's gone. I understand. Dev, let's go. Hey, Toby Nas come in yet? They're responding to a call. Huh. Are they going to be long? I don't know. OK, well, I only have 20 minutes, so when Oz gets in, just let him know he's missed his chance to have lunch with me. All right, I'll do that. Is there something wrong? No, no, not at all. You sure? Yeah, I just think it's bad form when one of my men stands up such a beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll make him drop and give me 10. OK. See ya. You got anything? Uh, no. No. Nothing. He needs help. Where the hell are you? We're first responders. He needs more than us. That's not gonna happen. Well, then you're killing him. I just want you to know. We are not bad people. No, you're, you're just doing bad things. No, we went to talk to him. He, he pulled a gun. We don't even know anyone who owns a gun. And it can't be traced. <laughs> Hang in there. Hang in there. What is happening? BP's falling. If we don't get him to a hospital, he could die. Hey, shut up. He's got a bullet in his leg, that's all. No, this is not what we wanted. No, we should just stop. We can explain to them that it was an accident. Then what are we gonna do, huh? We're gonna explain that we accidentally took two paramedics at gunpoint? Come on! Please, please, let's, let's just let's let them go. <clears throat> oh, my God. He's going into shock. We need to get him into surgery to get this bullet out. Take the bullet out, then. We don't do that. We're paramedics. We're not surgeons. I guess you just got promoted. We've got some over here. Let's get those checked for prints. I appreciate the call. You got anything? Well, we might be able to get some prints off those. Have you had any other contact with them? No, but you'll be the first to know. Is there anything else you can think of? Well, this is what I told you. I mean, the victim's name is Ted Winters. An office in the building Toby and Oswald called. The Ted Winters? The Ponzi scheme? I don't know. You said a man and a woman. Did you get any names? Uh, she called her partner uh, James. Yeah, they seem pretty much on the edge. We're going to get them back. Yeah. Right, what's the next step? Check out Winter's office. I'm going to see what I can find out about this James. Is his first name to go on? Yeah. Maybe he's one of the guys that Winter's ripped off. Good luck.
Thanks. On the guy. We're here. No, no, no. We need a sterile environment. What about inside the ambulance? It's too tight. Okay, my partner and I, we want to help you guys, but honestly, it'd be a lot better if we got this guy to the hospital. Listen, I don't think you guys get it, okay? We need him fixed because we're not done with him. We'll clear an area and we'll do it here. No. How hard is it to take out a bullet? If we were surgeons, it'd be relatively simple. You know, enough talking. You say he needs surgery, you perform the damn surgery. Keep him busy, Toby. I think I have a plan. All right, if I'm going to cut this guy open, I don't know how deep that bullet is. I need you guys to help me clear a space here. Mm -hmm. Honey, Admiral, okay? Everything is going wrong. Maybe we should just... Maybe we should what, baby? Take him to the hospital? <laughs> we do that, we'll do more time than he will. He is the bad guy, not us. Okay? Hey, you go help your partner. Edward Winters, financial crimes, arrested him eight months ago for investment fraud. You got 12 years, that's pretty heavy for a white collar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, guy's a gazillionaire. He opted for the jury trial, not the smartest move in the middle of a recession. So what happened to the money? It's gone. Gone? Yeah, according to Winters, he lost two. You believe that? So where is it? Who knows? Check the mattress. Can't find it. I'm guessing it's getting a tan. And everyone who invested lost? Well, the ones that got in first got great results, as promised. Everyone else, uh, you know, got 3% on the dollar, plus the satisfaction of seeing him convicted. So why is he out? I've got 12 years. He appealed. Someone listened. Uh, today's a big day, though. Yeah, why is that? Well, the result of the appeal comes in tomorrow. Word is it's not looking good. Who posted his bail? Probably some bail bondsman. Check the public record. Well, I was hoping you could save me the keystroke. Some people aren't too happy that he's out on bail awaiting an appeal. They put a bullet in him. No big surprise. Ponzi schemes prey on the people with the most to lose. <clears throat> Can I clean that up? Once that blood seeps into the wood. So you guys have everything you need? I'll just wait till we clear out of here, if that's okay. Okay, thank you. I said the lieutenant would be in the day after tomorrow. Who came in and stole all the furniture? Everything got repo by the feds, except what you see here. Not really worth anything. Hey, what can you tell me about Ted Winters? You heard about the Ponzi scheme? Of course. The biggest one in Toronto history. But hey, I never had a problem with the guy. Always paid his rent on time. Stayed here for 18 months until he... Until he went to jail. He phoned me this morning, told me he didn't need the office anymore. Okay. You still have that number? Yeah. Personal finance manager. You know, he took people's money and promised them more. There's only one way to make money in this world, my friend. Real estate. Yeah, good stuff. Listen. A lot of people are obviously pretty upset at the way Ted Winters took their money. You had any trouble here? You know, arguments, that sort of thing. Not here. Courts, for sure. Surveillance got anything? No cameras. What have I needed them before now? The whole world's on can camera now, brother. You may want to look into it. Okay. Nothing? We pulled the tapes from underground lot. Saw some images, but they're grainy as hell. Awesome. Thanks for your help. Thanks. Fine, but see what that is. Can't even find the thing. Find it. Not from him. He stays where he is. Not from him. I need someone to talk me through this. Nobody's coming here. No, 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 no one. We have a friend. She's a surgeon. She can talk me through it on the phone. 
No. It's our best shot at doing this right. And after that, you can do whatever you want with this guy. I don't care. Ask to use their phone. Use their phone. They can trace the call. You can turn your GPS off on your phone. Uh, I can use that. No. No phones. It's too risky. OK. We're going to use the radio and the ambulance. They can't trace them. Good idea. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Yeah. I'm not an idiot. What do they want? They haven't made any demands. Then what? Winners. The guy they kidnapped, he's in pretty bad shape. Olivia's about to walk them through surgery. That gives you two hours to find that damn ambulance. Can't you stretch it out? You can't do that. We'll be putting the man's life at risk. But Toby and Oz are already at risk. You don't think I know that? Hey, any luck? I've narrowed it down to six people named James. Hey, any suspects from there? I'm trying to, to get a voice match here. Do you think you can take over? Yeah. Okay, let me know if you get anything. Where's Klein? Uh, he's in court this afternoon. Wait, any, any news on the ambulance? No, nothing yet. Check Metro for updates. Here's Dr. Foss and Angelina. Hey, Liv. Hey, Toby. Hey, Liv. Uh, it's good to hear your voice. The two of you OK? Yeah, never better. <sighs> That's great. I'm missing dinner because of the two of you. All right, let's get on with this. OK. What are we dealing with? We have a GSW to the left sartorius. No, no, no medical target. No, I don't know what's going on. You try that again. All right, let's get look. Liv, uh, we have a gunshot wound to the upper left leg. Without an X-ray to specify that the bullet is no immediate concern, it's safer to just clean the wound and leave it in the body. A hot bullet is self-sterilizing. No, no, look, I know that. He's, he's bleeding quite a bit here, Liv. What's the S&D on his BP? Liv, uh, can you do that in plain English from now on? Everyone here wants to know what's going on. I'll try my best. Okay, thank you. His blood pressure is 90 over 50. How much morphine? All right, we've had a max at 10 since we picked him up. Without an X-ray or MRI, we have no idea what we're heading into. This guy has got to live. Toby? Toby, are you there? Yeah, Liv. Uh, look, there's going to be no MRI. We need to do something. The guy's been bleeding for over three hours now. OK, you're going to have to find the wound and try to stitch it up. Yeah. OK. Can you walk me through that? I'm going to need you to make an incision a little above the ligament and then extend it downward about two inches, OK? OK. You can do this, Toby. Wish me luck. Hey, I found our most likely suspects. It's James and Claire Madison. Voice prints were a close match. I sent Metro over to their place. Let me guess they weren't there. Bingo. Anyway, I got their victim impact statements. Let's have a look. All right, Liv, you got it open here. What have you got? It looks like the bullet is lodged against the femoral artery right at the tear. This could pose a situation of massive hypovolemia or even possible exsanguination. What the hell does that mean? It means if I pull the bullet out, it's either going to save him or kill him. James and Claire Madison. They've been married for six years. James worked at a shipping place on the Queensway. Claire was a dial maid. She used to clean Winter's house. Here is James and Claire Madison's victim impact statements. There were four of us, um, two couples, pooled our money together. He said he needed a $250,000 buy-in. He later let us in for $150,000. We thought we were lucky. We leveraged everything to get in. We got in just before the thing went off the rails. We lost everything. We have a voice match? No, I knew my Nothing that'll hold up in court, but it's them. The real bastard in all this is Ted Winters. Ted Winters. You know that? So we lose all our money, right? Where's the justice in that? This guy deserves more than jail, let me tell you that much. Deserves worse, what, like a bullet? Yeah, that guy can bend spoons with his hatred. They went in with another couple? Yeah. Let's find out who they are, see if they're in on it. Okay, I'm on it. Turn the keys on. Circulation's under control. What's next? Looks like McCluskey's got a lead. I need one of you to clamp the artery before you remove the bullet. As soon as it's out, you need to stitch. All right. All right look, you gotta let my partner go on you. No way. I'm oh, just on time, all right? It's not happening. All right, look, it's him or you. We never said anything about killing him. James, please, please, just let him go. All right, on time. You don't do anything stupid, right? Come on. Yeah. Hey, Liv, it's awesome. I'm just putting on gloves here. Clamping. 
Clamp lift. What's next? You ready to go for the bullet, Toby? Yeah, we are. Okay, as soon as it's out, stitch it up. Are you looking at a lot of blood there? Uh, no, no. Could be worse. Now's as good a time as any. All right. Going in. Bullets out. Artery damage? Uh, tiny. About two millimeters. Good, that's good. A couple stitches will do. All right, what happens next? As soon as Toby's done, he can stitch and finish. You heard her. Do what she said. Toby? Hello? Toby? They're gone. Sergeant Klausky, we lost contact. I understand you must be frustrated, Mr. Ryder. Right now, we're following every lead we can. Are we any closer? Yes, I, I will call you the minute I have any information. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Everton, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk about the Madisons. Anything you can tell me at all would be a great help. Well, we don't talk to James and Claire anymore, so... Anything. Last week, James called out of the blue. What did he want? He'd been reading the chat rooms. There's one for the victim said that Winters got out an appeal. <laughs> he was livid. I told him to go for a jog, go lift some weights. There wasn't anything we could do about it anymore. None of us could afford to lose the money we lost. Winters fleeced us. So if he's in danger, don't ask me to feel bad for him. Well, thank you for your time. Sure. I'll call if I hear anything. OK, thank you. What do you have? Wes Everton, owner of a small shipping company. They were closed two weeks ago. And? And James Madison used to work there. Not a bad place to hide an ambulance. It's a pretty big if. Let's check it out. All right. Should be all he needs right now. But what he needs is to get up and get out of here. He just had surgery. He's going to need some time. James, his blood pressure is dangerously low. He needs to rest right now. He doesn't have time to rest, OK? The cops are going to be here any minute. You're not gonna have trouble finding this place. I'm wasting time. Hey, 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 Mom, you hey. just go easy on him. He has to recover. Let me tell you something. He goes back in tomorrow. When he goes back in, we lose our chance to get everything we're owed. You understand me? Ted, Ted, just please just tell us where the money is. Look at me. Where's the money? Come on, back off, man. There isn't any money. Back off, man. Relax. Come on. There's money, Ted. The courts didn't get it. Where is it? No money. <laughs> No, my, you think we're super, Ted? Huh? I was at the auction. You had eight Rolexes at that auction, Ted. Eight! Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. Do the right thing. Blood pressure's dropping. Just, just give people the money back. James, take it easy. Shoot, come on! Stop! Stop. OK. All right. Come on. Just do the You've ruined thing. a lot of people's lives. OK, give us the money back. Listen to me. I need enough to get away. You help me. You'll get your money. I knew it. I knew it. I told you I knew you had the money. Where's the money? Where is it? James, Teddy, James. where's the money? All right, I know where it is, OK? He told me. Wait. Earlier in the ambulance, he told me where it is. I know where the money is. Back out of the way. Back. Oh, come on. All right, there's no pulse. He's in arrest. All right, it's hard to stop beating. I'm going to start compressions. OK. You got the pads? Yeah. Come on. Shooting in the hospital. Got the bag? You ready? Go. OK. All right, charging. Shocking. Get the bag? Charging. Shocking. There's nothing. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. This is on you, man. She's on you. It's death, man. This is your responsibility. This is your fault. Shut up. Hi, good people, huh? Good people who rob pockets of a dead man. What is that? Key. All right, now we're going to find out if you're telling the truth about knowing where the money is.
Bob Winters? Is he alive? Blood results should be in soon. Not fast enough. Look, don't worry. I'm sure it's just Winter's blood. Yeah. Hello? Yes. Yeah, I'm on the scene right now. It's not one of my boys, is it? It's Winter's. It's what? I don't understand. Winter's was fine. We got him through surgery. The defibrillator is out. It looks like he went into cardiac arrest. The coroner hasn't ruled yet. They're isolating the blood samples to make sure that it's just Winters. This wasn't a case that Toby was working for you, was it? No. Look, we're doing everything we can to get them back, and I promise you, Mr. Ryder, we will. We shouldn't have left his body. What kind of people do that? Hey, you gonna let us go? Yeah, if you're not lying, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna go in there with Claire. I'm gonna keep a gun on your body for collateral. Anything hinky happens, she's gonna call me. I'm gonna put a bullet in your pal. And when we find the money, we bring it back. And we tie you up and we call it in. That was before, James. You know, we can't just call it in. We're murderers. No, no, he died. I did not kill him. Yeah, believe what you want. I didn't kill him. He's dead. James, we went in to get the money. We went in to do the right thing. And then he pulled a gun, baby. There is no money left. Don't oh, you pay pay to me! Where's the goddamn money? We have to call my mom. Baby, that was his gun. If he didn't pull it, it wouldn't have gone off. That is self-defense. You hear me? That is self-defense. We're not murderers. So you go in there with the paramedic, you get that money. We can still make this right. They're okay. I'm sure they are. It sounded like the operation was going just fine. Why haven't they been let go yet? You know, for all we know, Toby and Oz could be stuck on the side of a road somewhere. They were responding to a broken ankle call. Routine call on a sleepy Sunday morning. It's not like they were running into a burning building. I worked with a woman a couple of years back. She just checked into Emerge for a shift. Some crackhead takes a knife to her. That's supposed to make me feel better. I'm just saying, you make saving lives your business. At some point, you're going to risk your own. It's gonna be fine. They're smart guys. They'll get through this. I just don't know about the people they're with. Hey, whoever took them has no idea what they're up against. All the goods here are being held in escrow. Here, take a look at this. The van's unaccounted for. There's a good chance that it was a getaway vehicle. Okay, let's get this to Metro. Who are Winter's friends? What are you thinking? Maybe the bail bondsman didn't post his bail. Who's listed as the surety? See, court records show the bail was posted by an Alexis Moores. Any connect to Winter's? No connection to Winter's, but she worked here as a receptionist at Everton Express, along with James. She's not on the victim's roster. Well, she wouldn't be able to post his bail if she was. Maybe James and his wife knew that, had her front for them. Why would they spring Winters? Well, 10 grand is worth it if they're able to collect millions. Why kill him? I don't know. Maybe it was an accident. What about Toby and Oz? They needed them to keep him alive. Now that he's dead? I don't know. think now we are yeah just wanted to get our money back everybody's money back yeah so why james bring the gun he didn't yeah you sure I mean, winters is out on appeal how easy would it be for him to get a gun he was in his office 
police would have found it. I've been watching James handle that gun. I think he brought it. You know, I've never been good with money either. Look, obviously, I didn't want it to go down like this. Obviously. You know, I would have left you guys back there. I just didn't want to run the risk of you calling it in before we got our money. That's all. Yeah, well, you don't want to do anything stupid. Uh-huh, yeah, okay. That's very funny. No. You think I wanted this? Okay, all right. You stay there. This is it. This is our chance to make things right. Come on. Money's not in here. Winters is dead and the money's not in here. It's over. Of course you wouldn't have the money here. God, we're so naive, you know? Thinking that we could just Robin Hood our way in and save the day. So are we free to go or? No. God, what are we gonna do? All right, look, let us go. And, and we'll give you that head start we talked about. James, give me the gun. Put your hands out. Oh, my God. Diamonds. They gotta be worth at least half a million. It's enough. Think about it, James. Think about what we can do with it. We can do the right thing. Share the money. He had the money. What was he gonna do? Toby, this isn't good. You take his cell phone and give it to me. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna check his messages. Okay. Text messages from some number. The guy had an airplane waiting for him. This is good. This is good? We're gonna do what he was gonna do. We're gonna take that plane. We got it. We have to take that plane, man. All that talk about future, about family. If we stop now. We lose all that. We just had a plan. He had a plan. All I have to do is text whoever's on the end of this line, and we got a shot at a new life. We gotta take it. You're right. You're right. You text him back. You're Ted Winters. You're on your way. If you love her so much, you guys should just give yourself up. You guys are just piling one mistake onto another here. Shut up! Stop talking. You, you drive. We're not gonna kill you. Yeah, like we weren't gonna kill that guy. All right, look, okay, we get there, you let my partner go, you take me. I don't care. There's no way I'm leaving you with these guys. No, we're not letting either of you go, not until we're safe. We can't. Hey, so what do you have? Forensics found Winter's Jack in the back of the ambulance. Got in his passport in the lining. It's good work. It looks like he still had enough scratch to pay for the best. This proves he wasn't going to show up for his appeal. Did we contact the boarders? Already did. You're moving to the head of the class. <laughs> Got this ticket. Albany Airport. He's going to take a connector from there to Belize. Puddle jumped any safe haven he wants. Yeah, check out Bishop's Road and RR27. So Green River. Looks like there's an airfield there. Let's go. Thanks. Wherever Winters was. Hello? Wes? You, you, you can't be here. Those texts were from you? You bastard. You were gonna fly him out of here? Yeah. Yeah, we were. To get the money back, we lost listening to you. So you were gonna betray your friends? 
And I suppose you kidnapped Winters to help us. Nobody was supposed to go down like that. Eva, I swear, we're just trying to get all of the money back. Yours, too. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Please came by. They're asking about you. So where is Winters now? He got what he deserved. What the hell happened? He's dead. It was just an accident. We just wanted everybody to get their money back. No, let's go. We gotta get out of here. Oh, no, no, no. You're not going anywhere without us. You're gonna fly us no, out of here. No, no, no way. Yes, you are, if you want your share of the money. What the hell's he talking about? Tell me. James, show them. How much is that? It's enough so we can get back on our feet. They're not paying any attention to us. Come on, man. You just fly us out of here like you are gonna do for winters. I think you're gonna keep it all. I don't think you planned on sharing that with anybody. Well, Eva, it doesn't matter now, does it? Because I'm gonna split it with you, okay? Let's get out of here. Well, what about you? You're, you're gonna fly this crook out of here. Here's our weak link, we Toby. We had to do. She's barely aware Sorry. of the gun. Okay, we just... We have to stick together. Because this money is making us all crazy. But if we just fly out of here, all of our problems will be okay. Hey, uh, yo, whoa, okay. Gun's on the other foot. There you go. Okay. 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 Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Okay. Okay. James, get away from the plane. You're not going anywhere. What are you going to do, kid? You can't shoot all four of us. Last week, you still get out of here. Let's go. We're leaving. Get away from the plane. Get away from the plane. You're going to have to shoot me. I will. I'll shoot you. Come on, shoot me! I guess I don't have to now. For what it's worth, I hope those diamonds make it to Winter's victims. Well, the feds will make sure they get where they need to go. I'm guessing it's not to you too. You ruined us, okay? We are victims. Yeah, you were until you kidnapped him. James, be quiet. I can't blame anyone else anymore. Hey! Good to see you guys. Hey, good to see you too, sir. Oh, you owe me 1850, by the way. For what? The pizza. No way, you didn't deliver me. Have you heard of 30 minutes so it's free? I can't believe you're trying to collect on that. I never agreed to that. Sir, I got shot at today. I don't care if you, you got shot. I don't care that I got shot. No, do I look like I can't? Oh my goodness, were you, were you worried about me? I'm good. I was, I was worried about both of you. Well, that's nice. Yeah, but one of us probably more than the other, right? Don't push it. Wow. Excuse me. Good work. Hey. Oh. Hey. How are you feeling? I'm glad you showed up. I, just, I don't know if I could have pulled the trigger. I didn't do that. Kept your cool. Well. You've done me a few favors. I guess it's only fair I did you one, no? True. 